Hello Internet and welcome to Behind the Meme where we take a look at the origin and meaning of your favorite memes. Today we have a look at Trollface. <laughs> Anybody who has spent any amount of time on the internet eventually comes across Trollface. The crudely drawn face that has a smirk that makes you want to punch your computer screen! Oh, look at that face, my god! He's such a smug bastard! Oh. As I was saying, Trollface was created in September of 2008 by an artist named Carlos Ramirez for a Microsoft Paint webcomic he posted to his DeviantArt account. In the post that Ramirez initially posted his comic, he later revealed that Trollface was an attempt to draw another character known as Rape Rodent. My god, look at that sick bastard. His name truly fits that face. Somebody was just raped or is about to be raped around this guy. Everybody cover your buttholes. In the months following the initial post of the first Trollface comic, it began to gain popularity on 4chan as a universal representation of internet trolls everywhere. Throughout 2009, the Trollface spread throughout the internet. It became very popular amongst webcomic creators, further propelling its popularity. Around this time, its meme status was also being created. Its use was so widespread that it just eventually became a part of internet culture. When people saw this now recognizable face, it was known that somebody was getting trolled. And more than likely, the person doing the trolling was loving every second of it like the face would imply. <laughs> Of course, with such widespread popularity of anything, people see an opportunity to make a quick doll. Such was the case with Trollface. On July 16th, 2011, a screenshot of an email apparently from the Trollface creator Carlos Ramirez was posted to Reddit. In the email, Ramirez claimed that one of the subreddits was often using his character without permission, which infringed on his copyright. He requested for the subreddit to be closed and immediately taken down. After the email was posted to Reddit and Carlos no doubt received hate from the situation, a user claiming to be him left a comment that stated, You know what makes me happy? Trolling Reddit and seeing a shitstorm like this develop. So it would appear that Trollface's creator is not far off from Trollface himself, like father like son. <laughs> In March of 2015, a game called Meme Run, which heavily used various memes images as part of the game, including Trollface, was taken down from the Wii U Virtual Shop. The copyright holder who issued the takedown was none other than our buddy Carlos. I guess this time he wasn't trolling. He was later interviewed about the situation and was quoted as saying, If they're not making any significant money on it, it's like, eh, not a big deal. If you're publishing a game on a major platform and it's using my image, it's kind of hard to ignore. I gotta admit, the guy makes a point, especially when you consider Trollface has been estimated to have made Carlos more than $100,000 since he registered its trademark back in 2010. That's a lot of money. $100,000. But hey, that's the internet for you, and on the internet, memes are key. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can watch the next video and stay up to date on all your favorite memes. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, but before you go, I wanted to show you guys this picture of these hot boobs I found online. They're totally worth the wait. Trust me. Let me put them up on the screen right now. You mad, bro? You mad, bro?